Streamlining DevOps. Today, we're exploring how Red Hat Developer Hub and Ansible Automation Platform can transform the deployment process for developers. I'm Roger Lopez, and alongside my off-screen partner, Ryan Cook, we'll illustrate this through Alice's story, a developer more at ease with coding than deployment, server configuration, and integrating with tools such as ServiceNow. Meet Alice, a talented coder tasked with deploying a web application. She's great at writing code, but less familiar with the intricacies of server and storage configurations, and the process of integrating with ServiceNow for deployment tracking. Facing these challenges, Alice discovers the perfect allies in her journey, Red Hat Developer Hub and Ansible Automation Platform. Let's explore how these innovative tools redefine her approach to deployment and server management. Red Hat Developer Hub is a developer portal that centralizes software development and infrastructure tooling. It's a single pane of glass for developers to manage services, documentation, and resources. Ansible Automation Platform is a powerhouse for automating complex IT tasks. In our scenario, it's used to automate the creation of ServiceNow tickets upon the initiation of new projects, manage PVC snapshot schedules for data backup, and send notifications to Slack about key updates and ticket details. Now that we've seen the tools at Alice's disposal, let's visualize how they come together in her workflow. We'll use an architectural image to map out the entire process from project initiation to the creation of ServiceNow tickets. Let's look at this architectural image. In this image, Alice will take advantage of the developer hub scaffolding to generate a new Quarkus project. This process takes advantage of OpenShift GitOps as well as the Ansible Automation Platform resource operator to trigger the creation of the appropriate ServiceNow tickets. PVC snapshot creations based on the Ansible schedule and alerting via notification the appropriate Slack channel about the ServiceNow ticket creation. With this architectural roadmap in mind, let's shift our focus to Alice's actual journey. We'll walk through each step she takes demonstrating how Red Hat Developer Hub and Ansible Automation Platform turn complex tasks into a streamlined and efficient process. Alice starts by selecting the Golden Path template in Red Hat Developer Hub to install the Quarkus microservice. Filling out the information details, this triggers the scaffolding framework built into Developer Hub by iterating through various template files and creating a code repository for the Quarkus microservice. With the source code repository in place, Alice will make a change within the repository to kick off a build of her Quarkus app that uses the Tecton pipeline. Here she can be seen making a change in her Alice app documentation and committing those changes. Aside from the Alice app repository, there is an Alice app GitOps repository that is storing all the Ansible files that are going to interact with our Quarkus application. The ServiceNow job YAML will interact with our ServiceNow instance, providing details such as the name of the application and informing that a ServiceNow change request has been triggered. Switching to the ServiceNow UI, Alice can see that a ServiceNow change request has been opened, detailing the deployment of the Quarkus app on a specific cluster and the state of the ticket. This information is also sent to Alice's team via a Slack notification that you'll see later in this video. Heading back to the Developer Hub component catalog, Alice will verify the status of her Alice app build by checking the status of her Tecton pipeline. Once the status reaches succeeded, Alice can verify that her Quarkus application is running by accessing the route URL from her OpenShift console for her application within the Alice app dev namespace. And there it is, a successful Quarkus app deployment. Once Alice is satisfied with her development deployment, Alice tags her app in the Alice app Git repo. 
This kicks off a new Tecton pipeline as well as a change request in ServiceNow and a Slack notification in our DH Ansible channel indicating the pre-pod deployment has been created. Once the Tecton pipeline report succeeded, we can see these details within our OpenShift GitOps environment of our Alice app prepod. This shows us within the specs section that a job template named ServiceNow change request has been launched. We can also see an Alice app snap schedule that details the creation of a scheduler for taking volume snapshots of the Alice app. And finally, the volume snapshot job that takes the volume snapshots of the Alice app. With everything in place, Alice can verify the ServiceNow change request was indeed created for her pre-pod environment and see the state of the ticket that is set to closed complete. Alice can then access the pre-prod namespace within her OpenShift cluster and access the route of her pre-prod Quarkus application. Finally, Alice can verify that the creation of her Alice app is being properly reported within Slack by the RHDH bot sending change request notifications. As we've journeyed with Alice through each step from initiating her project in Red Hat Developer Hub to managing deployments and automations within Ansible Automation Platform, we've seen a transformation in how development and operation tasks are approached. This isn't just about simplifying processes, it's about empowering developers like Alice to focus on their core strengths, allowing them to innovate faster and deliver more efficiently. If you're looking to learn more about how you can maximize your journey with Red Hat Developer Hub and Ansible Automation Platform, be sure to subscribe to our channel and be sure to share your thoughts in the comments below. This is Roger Lopez, along with my colleague Ryan Cook, saying thank you and hope you enjoyed the demo.